The crypto market is in extreme greed. We can see here it's at 90. The meme coins are taken off along with many, many altcoins. Bitcoin got so close to that all time high, but didn't quite make it. The BTC ETFs are still on fire. Let's talk about that in a little bit more tonight in a special third edition of Trade Cave today for your enjoyment. So, first of all, let's take a look here at uh, coin market cap. We've got 90% extreme greed, is where we are right now. This is, this is very greedy, very frothy market right now. You uh, may want to consider. And this is not financial advice nor a suggestion to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. But you may want to consider looking at profit taking at this uh, juncture, perhaps, or or perhaps we diamond hand into the future. Uh, I haven't actually sold anything yet. Perhaps I am diamond handing. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I am looking at things though as they develop. It's all very fluid. We're here to make money, not um, you know, not get cozy with the stock forever. So, what do we've got here? Uh, Ethereum was making a sweet high today as well. Uh, Solana is doing a bit of a pullback after a huge blow off here. I mean, I know I'm up almost 400% on my Solana, so that's, I mean, it can it can calm down all at once for a little while here. XRP up 1%, 14% this week. That's pretty excessive for that. Look at Dogecoin, 99% up. Shiba Inu, 274% up. Wow. Uh, that's pretty great. Uh, if we look down here, Bitcoin Cash, 46%. It's trash, but you know, it's up. Ethereum Classic, makes no sense that this still exists, but it's 34% up almost. Uh, where's, where's, where's Bonk? Bonk was down here somewhere. Kronos, actually have a pretty big bag of that. It's up 56% this week, 12% today. It was actually up to almost 20 cents for a little while earlier. That was very exciting for me personally. Um, Pepe is up 238%. Uh, where's Bonk? There it is, 146% for Bonk. Uh, it is the meme coin rally right now. I'd say it's probably going to be coming to an end here by morning. So I don't imagine there's much more profit less in these charts for the meme coins. But if you disagree, I mean, you'll go ahead and let me know. I'm, I'm happy to uh, partake occasionally in the meme coin fervor. I usually just lose money on it, but you know, it's, there's, there's some entertainment value to it regardless. So. That's all I'm going to say about that. So let's look in here. Is it? Yeah. So this is Bitcoin shorts versus longs uh, according to the Bitfinex margin short positions um, or margin long positions. So this is this is leveraged Bitcoin, heavily leveraged Bitcoin on on the 24 hours. So first of all, they are about 51% bearish over there at Bitfinex. Uh, the traders there they have shorted 303 Bitcoin on the platform and have longed only 56 Bitcoin as a significant discrepancy. Um, the, <laughs> the shorts are significantly outweighing the longs in this case. And I know that's not that many Bitcoin, but it's, it's upwards of 20 million in the value of Bitcoin that is shorted on this platform. And if Bitcoin keeps going up, as it has been going up, uh, and crosses this line, better believe you better believe they're going to start covering. When they start covering those short positions, we're going to see um, 80,000 in a blink of an eye uh, if we short squeeze on Bitcoin. So keep that in mind. We might be overbought right now, but if we get short squeeze, we will get overbought to a level you are not comfortable with. And I am probably not comfortable with it. It'll be very exciting, but it'll be very uncomfortable. Um, so that's what we're looking at there. Especially, I think this is very likely to occur because this is the inflows for the BTC ETFs today. There was nearly 4 billion, so just under 4 billion in, in inflows. That did include um, GBTC losing something like 300 billion or millions of billion, 300 million today. I'll, I'll bring it up in a second. But you can see that um, IBIT, which is the light blue here, got the lion's share of it. Nearly $2 billion flew, flowed into that. ARC was the next, um, I think, uh, it's either that or Fidelity. They're very similar colors, I can't tell. Uh, but And then the next really big one is uh, Grayscale, uh, which is all outflows, and we know that. So we, But we did see nearly $4 billion of inflows into uh, the ETFs today. In terms of the Bitcoin chart, you can see this is the daily. We came right up to the all-time high, barely right beneath it. We almost got there. We were so close. And then, then we started kind of selling off there at the end of the day. We'll see. Maybe we'll make it there tomorrow. 
Now, you may notice that I have an indicator here on the left here. That's the Pi Cycle Top. It's a free indicator. It is, let me see, Pi Cycle Top, which I have a lot, by um, Magipaw, uh, which is the same as the one on uh, Look Into Bitcoin. And you can put this on your trading view chart. And I encourage you to put this on your trading view chart because what you'll notice is it tracks the top. And you can see the red flags here. That comes in when the top is in. And the top is in when this purple line crosses up above this green line. And that's basically where you should seriously consider taking profit. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a financial advisor. But uh, in my case, I'm going to watch this chart like a hawk. And as soon as this purple line here goes above this green line, you better believe I'm selling like 95% of everything. Uh, and that's just how that's going to go. So I would encourage you to put this on your charts. As you can see, we still got a wide gap between these two moving averages, and they are closing in, though. They were much wider before. Uh, and if you notice back here, they stay pretty wide for a while. But once they start closing in, they close in real quick. So I would say put this one on your chart. Keep an eye on it. Look out for, uh, OK, the default is not a flag. It's a circle. I, I like changing it to flags. So mine's a flag. If you just do the default, it will be a circle. And look for your red dot or whatever symbol you decide to change it to at the top there. And uh, that will be the day that you really need to look at your portfolio and think about, is today the day I take profit or not? So that's, um, again, not financial advice, nor, say, nor a suggestion to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. That is simply what I will be doing when I see my red flag here uh, in the future. I will be selling uh, almost everything basically immediately. I should be locked down. And that's all I got for you today. The inflows on the Bitcoin ETF were huge. Again, today, nearly $4 billion. There is short interest on Bitcoin because people think that it has to come down. And it might come down. But if it goes up a little bit first, it's going to go up a lot of bit before it comes down, if that's the case, because they will start to cover. Because the way Bitcoin moves, it is dramatic. And if you are short in it, spikes up real fast into the you know the 72 73 you're going to need want to cover real fast because and then it's going to cause it to spike even further can you imagine a short squeeze on bitcoin at the all-time high that would be insane i'm not saying that's going to happen i don't have a crystal ball i have no idea what exactly is going to happen with this but in that scenario i see it moving up to about 80 85 thousand dollars real fast if we get a short squeeze right now on those shorts uh even if it's not that many of them it could do a dramatic move in the price uh, very, very, very quickly, especially if we've got this same kind of buying pressure from the ETFs on top of a short squeeze. Oh, man, that'll be that'll be nuts. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see the 80,000 very, very quickly if that were the case. Uh, tomorrow, we might make a new all time high for Bitcoin or maybe while I'm sleeping tonight. I don't know. Uh, one chart I'm going to bring up here that is I know this is not a crypto channel, but this is a chart that I'm very actually very happy with. Pretty proud of. I've been building a bag of this for years. Of course, this is not a suggestion to buy, so I don't hold anything whatsoever. But I do have a bag of this. Uh, I got about 40,000 or so of these bad boys. Uh, this is from crypto.com. It's another platform like Coinbase. And I've been watching this cup form for a while, accumulating for about two years down here, a nickel a piece. And it's, I saw this handle here. A uh, couple couple months ago, they started making this handle, and I got very excited when I started seeing this handle. Uh, and then it broke uh, in February. It broke, and it's still running up pretty dramatic. Actually, I mean, it broke five six days ago, like last Friday. It broke Friday Saturday, and uh, yeah, it's just been a wild ride for like two three days. All this was done in like two three days. Uh, if I come in back here, yeah, you can see one two three four five up here, and we went as high as eighteen cents all the way from nine cents out of this handle. And that's the power of the cup and handle. I mean, I know I'm showing this um, mostly because I'm very proud of, of this uh, charting right here. Uh, and second, it's another um, display, another example of that cup and handle formation that I've just been really killing it with lately. I've been very happy every time I see a cup and handle that's forming and then it, it, it does break. I, I tend to get in it real close to that breaking point. Uh, this one I have been holding for a very long time. So this was not a new position or anything. Um, so that's all we're going to cover today for the evening. I did the Bitcoin miners earlier today. Um, what are you all holding? Are you are you holding miners? Are you holding Bitcoin ETF? Are you in 
micro strategy? Are you in crypto at all? What cryptos do you hold if you're in any cryptos? Let us know in the comments. I'm kind of curious what uh, some of the viewers are, are out there are holding. Um, I know what some of you are holding, but like, let's, I'm just curious if there's any, any more uh, out there, anything that I'm not currently aware of or anything you'd like me to cover, honestly. Uh, I know I, I feel um, a bit uh, stretched thin trying to cover everything all the time, it's, even with the four that I like to follow most of the time. But, you know, I wouldn't mind exploring new tickers and seeing what's going on in those charts and making some technical analysis on those as well. So with that said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a profitable day.